I've come with Christine today who runs Yoga Berry Scoliosis and we're going to be running through a basics Pilates session and just taking the time to hear a little bit about your story and uh, learn a bit about how yoga has helped. That's the plan. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Amazing. Okay. So we are going to start standing up. So if you want to hop up, um, we're just running through super basic stuff. So I'm hoping you can all join in from home whilst we're doing this. So if we just have feet hip width apart, we're going to take arms down by your side, little feet, and we're just going to open up your palms, take a nice big breath in, and relax. Good. So we can just do a few of these to warm through. Nice. So Christine, can you tell us a little bit about what you do? Yes. So um, I'm a yoga teacher, and I've been practicing for. Um, quite a long time, for about mm -hmm. 20 years, but then about 10 years ago I made the decision to um, to become a teacher mm. and yeah, it's kind of my own journey with back pain and with scoliosis that uh, kind of took me into this direction yeah. and then very quickly specialised in this um, little niche of ours of yeah. working with people with scoliosis, so yeah, I've been enjoying that very much. Oh good, come into your heel raises for me. So we're just gonna lift up heels from the floor. You can Ooh. carry on with your V arms if you wish. There we go, we're gonna um, push you over, knock you out on the first gonna step. challenge me, so oh, talking, good. talking and moving at the same time. <laughs> Do some cognitive balance challenges. Yes. Um, so what is the story with your scoliosis? I know you've said you've got a mild curve. What does it look yes. like? Yes, so I've got kind of a, um, yeah. Mild to moderate, 25 degrees lumbar okay. um, scoliosis. So big enough to make an impression on an x-ray if you look <laughs> at it. Um, big enough to have caused me quite a, quite a bit of um, pain when, when I was a teenager especially. And um, you know, it, it was always this type of thing whenever I had back pain and I went to the um, to, to any doctors, they would look at me and they were like, oh yes, no wonder you've got back pain because <laughs> uh -huh. everything is just a little, little bit curvy. wonky. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's, that's kind of where it was. It hasn't really touched wood. There's so nothing to touch, touch nothing my head. Nothing to touch, <laughs> touch my head. It hasn't, it hasn't progressed. So yeah, that's, okay. that's the good thing. So um, I've known about it since I was a child, uh, yeah. probably five, six years old, so quite early actually, um, for idiopathic scoliosis. Mm. And um, yeah, so uh, since I was kind of in my 20s, I've been working with it, I've been very consciously, yeah. you know, trying to manage it. Yeah. And it hasn't progressed, so that's. Oh, that's so good. good. Let's do head ear over to your shoulder and you can flex the opposite wrist if you want, just give an extra little stretch. And then we can switch to the other side. Oh, I love these. Oh, so do you, nice. has it always been 25 degrees since you were that little? Um, I don't know, so they didn't really measure it. So this is kind yeah. of back in the 80s. Okay. <laughs> um, and not that they didn't know how to, but I, I don't know if they ever kind of um, yeah, they just didn't. Yeah. And what they did do, however, is they gave me a, a heel lift um, okay. for my shoes. So rather than a brace, mm. um, they were like, well, if we kind of balance out the hips. Yeah, well, you'll sort out above. That, right. that might sort it out. Um, did it? It didn't, <laughs> no. And in when I was in my, in my 20s, I did then decide to take it out. Right. Because I had to literally, any shoe, <laughs> I had yeah, to, you can't wear nice heels. You can't <laughs> wear any heels, exactly. So it was a little bit. Yeah. It, it, it was very annoying, and I didn't feel like it solved anything at all. Yeah, it's just a frustration. It was, so it was very, very frustrating. Okay. Yes. So, in terms of pain, have you ever had that alongside the curve? Yes, yeah, so, so um, especially when I was studying for my A levels, yeah. I did have quite a lot of pain and kind of this. Um, I'm sure anyone with scoliosis can can um, empathise with mm -hmm. this. It's this gripping tightness, very one-sided, so yeah. kind of around the, the convex side of my curve, yeah. especially. 
Which side is that for you? The left side. side. It's yeah. the left side for me, yeah. We're going to take one foot out in front. Here's a wobble challenge for okay. you. Okay. See if you can tuck your pelvis under and then we'll see if we can just come forward into a lunge. Yeah, good. Hands wherever you feel yeah. fit. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll move in and out of that position. This leg up can do it, so my other one will get wobbly mm. on. <laughs> yes, there's always um, one, isn't it? <laughs> yes. So that kind of scrunchy, crunchy pain, was that something you ever had help with or something you've had to work out for yourself how to manage? Um, so I, I think when I when I kind of started to investigate, mm. probably when I was like 16, maybe around that time, I did go to lots of different, well, you know, you get sent from one person to the other, basically. Yeah. I was growing up in Germany, so. Okay. Um, uh, you kind of go to the various specialists straight away. You don't necessarily go to your GP and then get right. referred. But I did try lots of different physio, um, you know, chiropractors, um, yeah. acupuncture. I hear that all the time. Like, I've tried things. everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I literally did try everything, I think. And everyone always was helpful and had some good opinions. I had, you know, the tens machine oh, yeah. and you know those electro whatever they're called did that help again it's t it's temporary right yeah it doesn't fix the underlying problem no no absolutely switch those over for me um and i also kind of felt a little bit mm, not dismissed because mm. they they all kind of suggested something but kind of like nobody quite understood right i see what was going on um yeah. That's so hard as well, especially at that young age. Like, what age were yes. you doing all of this going around? Yeah, to probably something? like between 18 and 22 yeah. was probably the so biggest tough. period of time. And then when I then came to London in my in my early 20s, mm. I was like, okay, London is expensive. <laughs> I yes. can't afford going to all those specialists all the time. Yeah. Um, and my mum was the one who was always like, you need to do exercise. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we love m your mum. Yes, Good absolutely, absolutely. But you know, as a teenager, you're like, well, I'm going to do anything, whatever it is, but not yeah. what my mum says. <laughs> yes, fair enough. <laughs> do we listen to her now? <laughs> well, I had to find my own way. I yeah. think I had to find my own way and my exercise as well. So um, I kind of just fell in love with yoga because it made me just feel um, physically better yeah. but also you know mentally emotionally um, it had such a kind of deep impact and when I really understood that it's not yeah. just the spine it's you know there's other things else. yeah, yeah come into some nice big circles for me these are where you feel good <laughs> nice big stretch and out oh. No, that's amazing and it's so empowering to find something that does work for yeah. you, isn't it? Yes, and I think the best advice I ever got was from a yoga teacher and I did not like it at the time. And she, <laughs> said, she said, you've got to, I asked her, what should I do for my scoliosis, yeah. you know? Um, uh, have you got any solutions? Like, you know, just like yeah. I did before. And she said, you've got to take responsibility. No! <laughs> for, your, for your back and for yeah. your spine. And I was like, hmm. You don't want I to don't hear know that. if I like that. Yeah, it's so true though, isn't but it? It was very true. Yeah. yeah, and that's a big thing I see. I think where you are passed around from doctor to doctor, you feel like you're waiting for the person who'll fix it. Yes. It doesn't work that way. No, absolutely. And I think we're always trying to look, yeah, at the outside and. Yeah. But really, we do know more than we give ourselves credit that's for. That's true. We know our bodies. Mm. Yes, and and again with I think with just dealing with it and doing the exercises and mm. body awareness increasing you know just the little things knowing you know this feels different on one side yeah. connecting with yourself isn't it then it does on the other side yeah and not like oh i need to change it but just like being curious just being aware. Mm -hmm. yeah definitely we're going to do a little bit of strengthening for your upper back so we're going to bring elbows in palms out like a little waiter and then we're going to open up and Shoulders, good. Well done, Louise. <laughs> I'm really well done. <laughs> Especially when you're sitting at the desk. Oh, man. yes. <laughs> Forget how lucky we are to teach for a living and we yes. can get up and move. But yeah, these are goodies. Exactly. Good. 
good. So moving from that kind of time where you were learning about yourself and this yoga teacher's saying, oh, you need to sort it out for yourself. And you're like, what? Yeah. How's that translated to where you are now? How's that journey been? Yeah, so I then, I did still, so I, I got into yoga very, very much and like did quite um, strong yoga classes. Ooh. Sweaty ones. Sweaty ones, fast ones, nice. you know, like the, the kind of the power yoga, vinyasa yoga. Um, and then I did come to a point after like two years where I was like, hmm, I feel like I felt overall much better, yeah. but I felt really imbalanced. I felt like, oh, I'm just, my, I've got one strong side and that's just getting stronger. Yeah. And the other side is not participating. It's yeah. like, it's, <laughs> it's asleep. Yeah. Um, so that's when I then um, kind of looked into more people that understood scoliosis and yoga for scoliosis teachers yeah. who could maybe um, help and guide me in, in that direction. So I did learn from um, quite a few good people like Lise Browning Miller who's yeah. a yoga for scoliosis teacher and then you know kind of went went from there and this discovery journey yeah. and uh, you know started with my YouTube channel and all of that so yeah and has it helped you the YouTube channel <laughs> yeah you I mean you're back we'll put oh, your yeah. hands down and we're gonna rotate your palms and it's, it's never finished right it's, yeah it's like a it's constant learning yes it's constant learning but is your pain a lot more managed now yes absolutely and I, I, I have it's like a toolbox really it's it's like I know what to do yeah. when it comes up, um, and pain is, is such an um, is such an interesting topic. Oh yes, you're gonna it's have my more, <laughs> more on that. Yeah. Um, I'm sure, but I do very much mm, think there's so many different reasons of why we could experience pain. Mm. Um, and this in itself is interesting because so many people will say your scoliosis doesn't cause pain. Yes. What do you think about that? Uh, I disagree, I disagree. And even though maybe it's not the spine or the, the curve itself, mm. you know, the, the, the tissues around it, the muscles, they would still be in balance. They can be tight and gripping, um, yeah. absolutely overstretched. And just this feeling of um, being in balance, and yeah. you know, fear is, a, is another. Yeah, fear and stress. Fear of the future. Of you yeah. know, you don't know is it going to get worse, right? Yeah. Especially if you talk to, um, you know, the, the surgeons who will say, oh, you yeah. know, we don't know. Well, yeah. We don't know, or it's going to progress by one degree every year. That's a statistic, right? Yeah. Um, and we can't do for anything for you now. Just come back when you need surgery. Have they said that to you? Uh, yeah, that's kind of what they say. I hear this Gosh. so many times from clients yeah. as well. It's like, well, you just have to get on with it. But, you know, if yeah. you need surgery, just come back and we'll sort it out. I'm like, well, Do I you... don't want that. Yeah. Right? Is that something you think that you'll end up having to think about? I, I hope not. No, yeah. I, I don't. Yeah, I hope not. It wasn't yes. fun. <laughs> <laughs> we were trying not to let you go through with that. Um, we're going to come over onto your back, actually. So. Okay. Come and bring yourself all the way down. Hoping we can still hear what we're doing. <laughs> so we're gonna start just by cooling down your shoulders. So we'll bring arms up to the ceiling mm -hmm. and just gently bring your thumbs over your head towards the floor. Hopefully you don't hit the dope. That's <laughs> good. And no. all the way up. Well done. Nice, so we'll just go from here. Um that's so interesting because obviously for me, I had my surgery and then it was done. Mm. And I feel like it's so much worse to live with that uncertainty over your head for years and years. But I think that's something you worry about. Um, well, surgery specifically, I think for me, um, no, I don't. Okay. I don't. I don't think so. I don't. Th I, I have enough knowledge now, and I think I have the confidence in in my body. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, nobody can predict the future, obviously. We, no. we can't. But uh, it's not something I personally worry about. But I do see a lot of clients who are worried mm. about this and who have even been told. You know, I have a, I had a one-to-one -one client the other day, and she said, 
um, she went to see a doctor and he said, well, wow, you've got a really bad back. It's really <laughs> terrible. It's <laughs> oh, awful. No. And uh, why would you say that? And at your age, um, you know, surgery is very risky. Yeah. Uh, goodbye. Good luck, basically. Stop so, it. They just so that's, oh. you know, there's nothing we can do for you. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm gonna say no. That's not what you want to hear, is it? No. No. Absolutely. Oh dear. Let's give our shoulders a break. We're gonna move on to a little bit of pelvic tilting. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna just gently tip your pelvis backwards. So lower back coming towards the mat. And then we'll release back to where it wants to sit naturally and then push all the way forward. So really important not to force anything, but see how you go. You'll be more bendy than me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this one. Good. Mm -hmm. um, so that kind of future for you, it feels like you're just really in control of your body. You know yourself really well. Mm. Um, is there anything you're doing with your own training to prepare yourself for just normal? Um, changes as we get older? Um, preparing myself, well we did, uh, yeah, I mean, pregnancy, so I've got two children. Yeah. Um, so I think, yeah, you, you kind of, you go through these phases in, in life, right? You've mm -hmm. got your 20s when you're really um, active and you enjoy all these movements and then, yeah. um, and that's what I realized how much kind of the my practice has changed over over the years and mm. how I really kind of benefit from knowing what I need at a, at a specific time. So yeah. um, definitely in, like pregnancy was one time where I was like, okay, I'm gonna need to make sure that I'm strong yeah. before I go through this. And I think menopause, so now approaching menopause mm -hmm. um, is, is equally another time yeah um, where you know there's a lot of changes to you know we talk about bone density obviously as well um, uh, degeneration you know yeah. these are all kind of risk factors and just part of life really yeah um, so yeah it's, it's definitely preparing for making sure that I'm now as strong and mobile um, as I can be yeah to, to make sure that I can move well when I'm, you know, 50, 60, 70, yeah. 100. No, <laughs> oh yeah, I hope so. Be one of those skydiving grannies. That yeah. would be fantastic. Exactly. <laughs> Just bring your um, pelvis back to neutral for me. We're going to do a little bit of abdominal work. Okay. So we'll just want to think about almost sticking up from your pubic bone up to your belly button, getting that mm -hmm. lower abs working. We're going to lift one leg, flex the foot, we're going to aim it towards the middle of the wall in front. So good. Come back in. <laughs> Come back in. We'll switch to the other side. Well done. Oh dear. Good. Um, that's definitely something that I worry about. So I'm mid twenties. I'd love to have babies at mm -hmm. some point. Um, I get very broody at the moment. Oh, I'm sure you will be a great mum. Um, but. Um, it's definitely a worry and I think a lot of people do worry about how to care for our backs at that time. So mm. what kind of things did you do? Um, I think like educating yourself and just, yeah. just, just knowing what I wouldn't recommend is starting something completely new when you're pregnant. Okay. <laughs> so, um, I, I, because there are already so many things changing for yeah. you in your body. Um, so I would definitely <laughs> try to be as strong as I said as, as you can before yeah. before you're getting pregnant and um, yeah just kind of knowing obviously knowing my curvature knowing kind of uh, the, all those little, little differences where am I in my curve pattern right so we're, we're always you know there's a way of kind of collapsing into it yeah. Um, and I'm sure this this is less probably with the with the spinal fusion because the fusion yeah. keeps you keeps you in check to um, a point. To yes. a point. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, no, that's really interesting. I, I think that's something where people can be quite passive about it, mm -hmm. and you don't perhaps think of the changes you're making from the inside out to keep yourself supported and strong. Mm. Um, so it's amazing to have that knowledge for yourselves. I think. 
that's something that we're quite keen, isn't it, in our teaching to share so that people are more aware of themselves and know and understand how to be strong in a safe yes. way. Yes, absolutely. And then, you know, it's not just being strong. Um, so and this is the discovery after having <laughs> children. Yeah. Um, you need to relax, right? Right. <laughs> okay. It's not so maybe not so big of a feature in your in your twenties. Is um, being a mum stressful? It, uh, just a little yeah. bit. <laughs> Last one on each leg for me. Um, so oh, I'm, I'm always joking about this one. Not joking. It's actually the truth. <laughs> when um, if I can only do one yoga pose a day. It yeah. will be Shavasana, so it will be relaxation. Which one's Shavasana where we get to lie down and just lie breathe. down? Oh, 20 minutes. Relax. 20 minutes? I need to start doing this. This is amazing. <laughs> right, for our next one, I'm sorry this isn't quite as relaxing. We're going to have to coordinate here. Okay. So we're looking at pelvic stability side to side. Right. So I'm going to challenge you. So we're coming again with one leg lifted off the floor. Okay. And then it's going to drift out to the side. But don't want you to let your little hip bones move yeah. and then come back in. So you can hold them if you need. Good. <laughs> this is where you're going to show me how bendy you are. Well done. Come all the way over. And back. <laughs> I'm going to get a click in my hip in a minute. Well done. And we'll just keep going side to side. Nice. This is always, I, I, when, I, when I teach things like this, I think anyone with a fusion always has a slight advantage. Hey now. <laughs> I'm working very hard. <laughs> I know. I know. But, you know, all of us who don't have a fusion, we could wobble all over the place, right? We yeah, could. <laughs> fair. Mind you, if I wobble, let everything go. Yes, like, I'll break yes. my nose. It will be more, yeah. more obvious. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, but we can yeah. cheat, definitely, without yeah. a fusion. You can't. Are you cheating? <laughs> no, you're doing good. <laughs> oh, dear. So, who do you tend to teach now? Is it people who are living with curvy spines their whole lives? Is it people who are developing it later on? Yeah, it's a bit of a mixture. So most um, people that I work with are kind of um, in their 40s, 50s, 60s, I would say yeah. it's kind of the, the majority of people. Some of them had, you know, um, scoliosis all their lives. They've been wearing a brace never, and they never had any problems until they hit kind of menopause. Yeah. Um, and then other people are completely newly diagnosed. They didn't know, they never, nobody ever talked about scoliosis. Yeah. And then they go and see uh, uh, any specialist and they say, oh, by the way, you've got <laughs> scoliosis. Right? And you think, what? <laughs> never heard like, of this before. what? Me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So yes, it's a little bit of a mixture. Nice. And then people with, with fusions as well, mm. um, kind of, your, your type of fusion or the decompression fusion in the, yeah. the lumbar spine. A little baby fusion. Yes, yes, baby fusion, yeah. but yeah, quite... Uh, Still impactful. They can be very, very painful yeah. um, in that area, so... Mm. Yeah, and they tend to do the operation because of pain, don't they? So they all, do, yes, absolutely. All fun. Oh dear, the things we go through. Eh? <laughs> What's your favourite type of person to teach? Um, I definitely prefer working with adults than yeah. teenagers. Uh, <laughs> it depends on the teenagers. Because they listen um, to what you're saying. They do, and they and also because they are there because they want to be there. Yeah. Very often with, with kids, it's the mum who's like, yeah, you know. Um, same as my mum, right? Who, who would be he like, best, you need to do exercise, you yes. need to do this, but really it works <laughs> best if the person is Yeah, you have to want to learn for yourself, invested you? themselves, yeah. Mate, this next one, our last one. Beautiful, right, mm -hmm. feet coming down. We are gonna tuck your pelvis backwards, so lower back coming towards the floor. And then we'll do this slightly differently, but we're going to come up into a bridge. So you can peel up. I'm going to just thrust <laughs> and return. Good. And let that pelvic tilt go. Nice. Just lifting up and lowering. Well done. Okay. So do you think if you could go back to your 18 year old self, you'd just shake yourself and say, sort it out? <laughs> um. Yeah. It's. I mean, I, I feel like I was in a way quite proactive yeah just because I did kind of look look for help but I, I wish I had more 
you know, like like nowadays, like the things that you and me uh, do with like raising awareness and yeah. um, and providing support, there wasn't any of this at that point. Yeah. Um, so I do think it's it's very important, and sometimes you, you do get kind of dismissed a little bit as a yeah. exercise or movement um, professional. But yeah. really, you know, it's it's such an important part, or should be an important part of people's lives. So it's great to be able to offer that support. Um, yeah. To to other people, absolutely. But yeah, I wish I I had had more resources. Yeah, I think I was the same. When I had my surgery, I was very active anyway, just because I was a teenager. Mm -hmm. And it was when I had my desk job, I didn't really understand why my back pain got worse. And yeah. obviously now I'm like, oh yeah, I sat down all day. But I remember around my arc, the resources were starting to creep in, yeah. but they were like weird forums. And it was obviously like any review site, the only people who say something are the people who've had a really awful experience. Yes. Like, oh, yeah. my leg fell off after surgery, and you're like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is awful. Um, so, yeah, that wasn't the best. So it's nice to see like proper informed resources coming out. Yeah, you do have to be a little bit careful, yes, yes. Where, where you get Critical your thinking. Where you get your information from, and it's, it's easy to kind of uh, get sucked into this kind of spiral of negativity yeah. as well, right? Yeah, definitely. Finish this last one then, and we'll just squeeze your knees into your chest, take a nice Ooh. big cuddle. Oh, there we go, squeeze. And my favourite stretch, this might rival Shavasana, um, is we're going to stretch your legs out to the end of the mat, stretch your hands out over your head, and then we're going to pull and stretch, and oh, let it go. Oh, I love that one. Well done. Right, come up carefully, we can roll to our side and come all the way up. How are you feeling after that? Lovely! Ooh, my hair's going to be everywhere. Thank you! Oh, good. That was great! Yeah, it's nice and it's just so interesting to learn about your story and actually living with a curly spine on the term and I think mm. it's so interesting the similarities we have with a fusion or not um, in terms of looking after yourself but also, yeah. yeah, I think there's a lot of different challenges on there. So yes, and it's not always... Um, it's not always visible, right? Yeah. I had a, another a client in, this week and she was like, oh, it's so nice to talk to someone who understands, right? And she was close to tears yeah. because she had been like, just passed from person to person yeah. and, you know, saying again, things like, well, we can't do surgery now, maybe in the future, but, you know, not offering yeah. anything left hanging aren't you that's really yes tough. yeah that's and you really know hard. what can you do right but how like yeah. taking responsibility and um what can you do to to help yourself yeah because i find that often people will say to me what do you think what's your opinion how what should i do anything like only you know that and yes. you, know, you do know your body best and yeah yeah we have to trust ourselves a bit don't we mm, yeah. absolutely mm. oh well, thank you for putting some thank little, you that was class. fun yeah it's nice <laughs> to get moving together um i hope you guys all enjoyed that as well and were able to join in along at home um christine's over at yoga berry scoliosis on youtube and on instagram and Everywhere else, uh, are you? Yeah, are you on TikTok yet? Uh, I I have an account. Oh, are you? There we go. But I haven't uh, I haven't done very much. I'm the same. Yeah. I'm like, should we do some TikTok dances together? Yeah. That's what we need to do. Exactly. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Well, thank you so much, and we will see you guys soon.